Well, first, let's see if I can find my own Black Panther. I have a cat named Athena. Let's see if she wants to be on camera for the very first time ever. <coughs> Athena, Athena, the no, no. Why do you? Oh, why don't you love me? Hi, hello, this is Jules the Human here, and I'm gonna be talking about Black Panther today. I saw it a little bit early. I wanna thank Cloud X Strife from Alamo City Movie Talk for inviting me. I was super excited to go see it. Super excited for the movie. And I'm gonna be talking some non-spoiler stuff, my thoughts on the movie, what kind of things to expect, and all that good stuff. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video if you wanna hear more reviews of movies, games, TV shows, or anything like that. But yeah, let's get started. Full reviews and all that stuff on my podcast, the Nerdy Things Podcast. Look up Nerdy Things Podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and we're now on Spotify. You can find that. And I'll link to the YouTube channel as well. So I'm not going to be talking story. I hate when reviews talk about the whole story or anything like that. But I'm going to talk about some things that I really did like. One thing that a lot of people have been raving about is the music. I have cat hair in my mouth. The music was so wonderfully done, it was a mix of old sort of African style beat because almost this entire movie is taken in Wakanda with some new futuristic style tones and it's just so fantastic. As a musician, I really did love it. As a layman or anybody that just enjoys music, I'm sure you're gonna love it as well. Kendrick Lamar had a huge hand in the music and honestly that's one of the highlights of this movie is just the undertones, the beats that were playing underneath, the sort of cinematic hits that Marvel does really well. And again, it was just a nice blend of old and new, which is kind of what Wakanda is. This is really our first introduction into this place, this whole futuristic city that's built. And I don't think this is a spoiler or anything, but I'm sorry if it is. On vibranium, which is the strongest metal in the world and all that stuff. But again, music A+, loved it. Another thing I really loved was the costume design. Holy crap, Marvel is getting fantastic at what they do with costume design. We saw some great costume design in Thor Ragnarok and Black Panther is probably at the top for costume design in my opinion. It does incorporate a ton of traditional African garb and it looks fantastic. You can really see that this is authentic. They did their research. They had a ton of people working on it and it just looks beautiful. It brings this entire city to life. Honestly, I'll get into it a little bit later, but the costume design is really what makes this place feel like such a tangible place because we've never seen it yet before. From what we know about Wakanda is only what we know in the comics and not too much in the storyline. Them bringing this out and making it a thing is just so fantastic to see and I really enjoyed it. Another thing I loved, A plus casting all of the actors and actresses all of the actors and actresses are fantastic. They did an amazing job. I can't stress enough how much representation is important to a lot of people. And I thank them. It was fantastic. I loved the casting and they did an amazing job. It was just ridiculous. I couldn't, I, you know, I go in there trying to nitpick everything because I kind of want to talk about it. And I do have the Nerdy Things podcast. We kind of go in depth and, you know, we're nerdy and all that stuff. But I really couldn't find a bad actor or actress in the movie. It was all amazingly done and I can't wait to see it again. Let's go a little bit more into the movie and maybe into some things that I didn't really like. Without getting into spoilers, we're still not doing spoilers. So I think a lot of the reasons why I didn't like it was probably a lot my fault. I went in there thinking, all right, they're bringing this one right before Infinity War. We're gonna see a whole lot of stuff going into it. We're gonna see Cap, we're gonna see Iron Man, we're gonna see all these people going into Wakanda, all this cool stuff, and no. This was legit a solo film, a solo introduction into Wakanda and the Black Panther and the whole idea of what the Black Panther means, what I don't want to get into it, but all that stuff with Wakanda and, and associated with the Black Panther. I was expecting something totally different and I think that's why uh, in my heart I'm not too sure if I like the movie or not. But I think definitely if I see it again, going into it knowing this is more like a Wonder Woman film, a solo film, then I think I'll definitely like it a little bit better. I'm not gonna give you my complete verdict on that. We're gonna talk about it in Nerdy Things Podcast next week. But really, if you watch this before you watch the movie, definitely go in knowing that this is a solo film meant to show you what the Black Panther is and it's not so much in the Marvel Universe. Something like Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was a singular film and I don't know why I just didn't think of it like that when I was watching it the other day. Maybe because I was coming off of Captain America Civil War or something. I was coming off of Thor. I really loved Thor Ragnarok and I saw the Hulk and I was like, all right, this is gonna be not just the Black Panther. This is gonna be a whole lot of people, but 
you know, it was, and that that's okay. It just wasn't what I was expecting. So definitely go in there knowing that. Story-wise, it was phenomenal. It had character depth, character growth, so many things that we don't see a whole lot of in action slash Marvel films. Like I already said, Wakanda felt like a real place, somewhere that we can go to, somewhere that's thriving and they set up this world and it's just so fantastic. I don't think I was expecting to fall in love with Wakanda as much as I did. I'm gonna compare it to Thor because it was my last Marvel movie that I saw, but I think again that whole power creep up with action and this being so close to Infinity War, I was expecting them to go over the top with how action packed it was and it was surprisingly not that much. What they amped up on was the story, making it believable, giving these characters depth, and now I really want to see more of what they can do. On the other hand though, it did make for some slow points in the movie for me. This is all my opinion of course. There was some slow scene slowness in it because I kind of was expecting a whole lot of action kind of like what we saw in Thor. So again this is a long movie I do feel like some scenes were unnecessary a lot of things could have been cut down a little bit more but nevertheless that was just me if I watched it like I watched the very first Iron Man movie if this movie came out at the same time as Iron Man the number one the very first one that started off the whole thing holy crap this is fantastic that would have been amazing and I would have been okay with it. But now with what I'm expecting with Marvel films, it did kind of slow me down a little bit. And I think that's just me as a watcher. That's the problem that I have because I do want to stay up on that adrenaline. I want that action packed stuff and they didn't give it to me, but that's okay. They gave us a lot of story. They gave us a lot of everything. Again, I'm so excited to talk about it. I don't know how much I can say. I don't know how much I want to say, but if you're going to go see it this weekend, definitely let me know your favorite parts, your favorite scenes, your favorite characters. Characters. There's a ton of amazing characters, a ton of funny scenes, and honestly, it's just a, a, a fantastic, beautiful movie. I, I don't know what else to say, but definitely let me know if you're curious about it. I'll let you know some more information about it. Hit me up in the comments right down there below. You can follow me on all my social medias at Jules the Human. That's at Jules the Human on pretty much any social platform Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. JulesTheHuman.com is where everything I do, you can find all that. Hit that subscribe button if you like me or like what I do hit that like button if you want to see some more reviews of movies, TV, anything really. And if you want to hear our Black Panther complete talk, spoilers included, all that good stuff, listen to us on the Nerdy Things podcast. Links to the podcast are going to be right down there on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify now, which is fantastic. And you'll hear us talk about it in about a week or so. But yeah, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I want to hear you. I want to talk to you. Let's talk. Let's chat. Let's talk Marvel movies, Black Panther, whatever you want right down there in the comments. I've been Jules the Human. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.